42, 42, just hanging around the bag now, passes his goalie, his goalie, oh my god, a horrible, boys, did you, wait, that's a goal, right? Yo, 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 hello guys, and welcome to the channel, my name is Metro Johnny. Um, make, before this video starts, make sure to check out my channel where I bring tons of sports content from baseball to football and hockey to lacrosse. I mean, anything that you can think of, man. I love sports and um, hockey is something that <clears throat> is one of my weaker sports. So bear with me on that um, as I go through the learning process of this sport. It's one of the most amazing sports to watch, and that's coming from a football fan. Like, I've just started to get into it, and <laughs> I'm addicted to watching it, man. It's amazing. <clears throat> I'm, I'm an American uh, from down south where you don't really get much. Uh, I don't even have a team that I can root for from the state that I live in. So, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's not going to stop me from, from enjoying this sport and... Uh, yeah, so it's gonna—it's it's a learning process, boys. It's a learning process, so bear with me. Now, um, it's been over a year since I, I made a video on this. I made two videos on Eastside Hockey Manager where I was going—I modded it up, and it was going to be me learning learning hockey. And um, it was one of the most successful videos on my channel. But I never got—I never did it. I never did it. So we're going to reload it up. And um, I'm not going to mod it. I'm not going to mod it because I have a reason why. Um, we are going to be National League. So the, N the NHL, that's basically what that is. We're going to do the AHL, but we're going to view only. And then that's all we're going to do. Um, the rest of it, we're not going to really pay attention to. The reason why, and here's the settings. The reason why um, is because we're going to use randomized details, which is... Basically, the people, are, the names, and the people are going to be randomly generated. We're not going to be using real people. I have been wa watching hockey for a minute now, so I kind of know who is who. And this may seem, this may not be what you want to go for, or what you want to watch. So, you know, this might not be for you. But for me, I want to build our own storylines, boys. And I want you guys to help me make headlines, um, so I can put them in the videos, um, pictures, uh, news statements anything that you boys can come up with and we're going to learn these players and we're going to come up with our own our own league in our own universe and uh that's how we're going to do it now everything else i'm going to enable fog of war i'm going to turn that off because that makes the game just a tad harder and i've never actually done a full walkthrough i've never played the game and um so you know hopefully i can change that back if i need to be if it's like a little too easy or something opportunities here in the NHL now these are the teams obviously the NHL teams now I don't know you got you boys let me know who is Long Island I don't know who that is um, is that the New York Rangers do they play in Long Island New York um, or is that or is this the New York Rangers? you boys let me know that one I don't I don't know um, who that you boys let me know um, so we're gonna go ahead and Start unemployed. Um, Ted Port. If it becomes a problem, I can add a GM. But I'm fine with with watching a, a couple seasons, a couple years play out without doing anything. I am fine with that. And we'll just name the file Ted Port so I can remember. But yeah, I'm fine with uh, just letting you know watching the league. It'll help me learn, anyways. So let's go ahead and take a look at the league. We're gonna go over here at the history. So you boys can see the history of what we're working with. <clears throat> in this universe, we're taking it back in time. It's 2016, okay? It's 2016. And <clears throat> these are, this is the history. The last uh, um, Stanley Cup winners were the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Chicago uh, Blackhawks, Los Angeles, Chicago again, Los Angeles, Boston, Chicago, Pittsburgh, yada, yada, yada. We can go all the way down to where it started, which was 19, 
holy shit, 1917, so, yeah, it's been a minute now, um, what's cool about that is we have all of, you know, those records held, are, are kept up to where we're at now, but records, and this is what I really like, are all wiped clean, because one, I randomly generated the players, the only thing that is kept is the most Stanley Cup winners, which is Montreal, the Montreal Canadiens, with 24 Stanley Cup titles. You boys let me know if that's correct. I'm pretty sure because it says winners here. I'm pretty sure that, um, yeah, Montreal definitely has 24. But there's other teams that's got to be pretty close. I don't know the, um, the actual thing. But what's cool about this is all of these are blank, right? So as we grow this new universe with all these new players and we learn these players and make headlines and make stories of our own, we'll get to see their names pop up and get to watch them be broken. You'll get to watch history unfold as it is. So highest attendance is clear. We'll get to see that as well. There's a bunch of men. There's any stat that you want in this is in this game. Biggest win. Uh... Most games won in a row, teams, most team goals, players, yada, 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 man. If, if you want to see the stat, it's in here. Um, <clears throat> so here's the conferences. You already, you boys already know how it, how it's lined out. Um, conference 1, Conference 2, so on and so forth. So that's the league. Um, here's our general manager. Um, here's all the general managers, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and the number one general manager in the league is John Fox for Toronto. Uh, Jerome Hughes, Hughes from Detroit. Joseph Cote or Cot. I don't know how. Um, some of these names, boys, you're gonna. I'm gonna pronounce, and I'm gonna just slaughter the names. Um, just be, you know, forgive me for that. Hey, you know, what I mean, I'm not the best uh, at pronouncing these names that are across. The world, okay. Kim Neal, uh, Trey Ritter, Jesperi Ojentaken, <laughs> God dang, and so it starts. But yeah, Columbus and Team Finland. Wow, so he's a GM for two teams, boys. San Jose's uh, Riley DeSantis, DeSantis, uh, Brant Harderson from Los Angeles, and Slay Stewart, St. Louis. Pittsburgh's GM is McKenzie. Rahamu, uh, Rahame, <laughs> Tyler Clark for Edmonton, but I'm not gonna go through all the whole the whole damn list, boys. I mean, come on. But you you see now, I want to see my uh, Florida. Where's Florida at? Florida's GM man. Whose job am I gonna be gunning for? Is what I want to see. Uh, where's there's got to be another page, right? How do you uh, Florida? I don't see Florida here. Um, is there any way I can look at the rest? There's only 24 GMs here. Reputation. Nations, it's got to be a um, period at current team, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow, you can see how long they've been. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty cool. A reputation in the USA. Um, teams. Now, Winnipeg. I don't, I don't know. We'll just do it by rep. That's fine. Oh, you know what? Here, we'll. These, so these are the jobs we could be gunning for. Which I don't know if we can get a job outside of the NHL. Um, I, since I didn't put them, I don't think we can. So we just have to keep that in mind. But yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead. We got to get into some simming, boys, because these videos are going to be running pretty long. Ah, if we don't, but yeah. Any any hardcore East Side hockey manager players out there, you're going to be mad at me because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So. You know, bear with me, and if anything, give me some tips. Um, the Czech Republic have won the EHT section stage or S2 stage of the European Hockey Tournament. Now we can actually view other things around the world, and that's what's really cool about this. So the um, so I didn't know what that stood for, but it, here it is: the European Hockey Tournament, and it has the Czech Republic, Finland, Russia, Sweden. Okay, so those are the four <clears throat> European hockey hockey is going at it. Now, Russia, ooh, that's going to be a tough one, but you got those uh, Super Swedes and you got Finland there. What, what's their nickname, Finland? What's Finland's nickname? Um, 
Oh, I can't remember. I know that you got the Super Swedes, but I don't know about the rest. But so, anyways, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get back to our our thing. We'll keep an eye on that. If you got boys that are interested, that's fine. But we're gonna we gotta sim, man. We gotta get you know some years simulated so I can become a, a you know a GM and and make my name known. Ted Port around the world. So one thing I don't like about this game. Is that you can only sim a day at a time. Sweden U20 have won the Czech Four Nations U20 tournament. It's an ext extremely proud moment for the team, and they ha will be hoping to build on the success in the upcoming tournaments. So uh, the Super Swedes win it. It looks like that's that's good for them, without a doubt. Daily messages. Um, there's a place where you can get yeah news. Okay, so this is the news. Yeah, Ted Port news. Uh, this is the news category, so we won't miss anything. Um, transaction, yeah, we have it on all, so we'll continue that. Ah, that is some good coffee right there. Oh, one thing I do want to do, boys. There's so much I gotta do here. I'm so, we got so much shit to look at. It's it's overwhelming. It, it will give you a headache. This game tends to give me a headache whenever I play it, just because of all the words and text. I feel like I gotta look at everything at once. I gotta remember to just tell myself to to just take it slow, okay? But I wanted to look at Pittsburgh. The reason I want to look at Pittsburgh is because they are the champions, right? They won the last one. So let's take a look at the roster, you know? Um, let's see. These are the guys that won the last championship. So we're going to look by position, I think. Uh, I think that's how we'll do it. Attributes, general, other filters. Yeah, okay. First, we'll look at their goalies. So here we go. So at the net, we have a 31-year-old, an 18-year-old, and a 22-year-old. Um, Charlie McArdle. Now, why is he green? Dan Jansen. On tryout for... Okay. from So he's trying out. Now, who can we see who's starting? I want to see if he's starting. Oh, boys. And this is, what's an this is another cool thing. Oh, well, I don't know if they have stats, which is crazy. Let me see. Can position contract his history. Here we go. Yes. Oh, this is this is awesome, boys. I'm so freaking excited because they have no stats, like no history stats. So, yeah, Pittsburgh won, you know, like this dude's a 31 year old and you think he would have he's he, he would have like at least. I don't know, eight seasons played or whatever stats. But since I randomly generated the names, they don't have any stats on the background, which means, you know, our universe is truly starting off now. We'll pretend, you know, whatever. Pittsburgh won last year, but I don't know why, man. I'm just getting excited, okay? I'm just getting excited. I don't even know if what I'm saying makes sense. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. But every stat is going to start from when we started the universe, okay? So... I think. I mean, I don't see any history of yeah playing career. Yeah, zero. Unless he, you know what I mean, is not the starter. But that's his peer on Tony Boschetti. Boschetti, I think. I don't know. Um, I think he would be the starter. Charlie McArdle. Ooh, he might be, actually. Let's see. Does he have history? Yeah, no. Game log. Okay. Information, um, reputation is very good, uh, future, happy to stay at the team, of course, I mean, they are the runner, they are the champions. Um, it doesn't tell me if there's a starter. You boys let me know if, how, how you can figure out that. Info, tactics, no games recently played, okay, info. Uh, full name, Pittsburgh, uh, da da da, finances are rich, team captain is Danny, uh, Jakubo, Jakuboski, Danny Japu uh, Jakuboski. Holy shit, dude! I gotta practice. Okay, alternate captain is Kamel Bennett, and all, another alternate captain is Jacob Zacharis. Team rivals, we already know who they are. Okay, um, top facilities, yada yada. Team facility, uh, independent. So this, okay, USA one is the AHL. And USA 2 is got to be the ECHL. East, I think that's what that is. Hopefully I'm right. 
Tactics, okay. His history. Least points. Okay. But look at that. Most of them are, you know, pretty blank, which leaves us a lot to do here. Competitions. National League winners, right there. They got four of them. They're last year's winners. So, National League uh, winners, 1993. All right, boys. <clears throat> So, yeah, we, uh, Pittsburgh, yeah, these, so these guys, I'm pretty sure are on, yeah, they're on tryouts for, to make Pittsburgh, yeah, they're very young, they're trying out, that's why they're in green, but, um, so those are their goalies, we're not going to be able to see who starts, but those are the three goalies, um, I want to say it's this guy right here, who's starting, but let's go ahead and let's check out their, um, <clears throat> we'll go to the defensive, um, the defensive ends here. You've got Roger Abbott, Abel Cardwell, Zach Clark, got a bunch of these guys here, um, Everett McCool. I want to see, so why do they have stars? Some of them have these little, little things here. I wonder what that means. 29. Pittsburgh, uh, left end, practice full. I'm not sure what that means. <clears throat> you boys let me know. If you know that, what is, uh, like, why do some have these little, the dots? Like, these two here, they have the star or dot, whatever you want to call it, by their name. Randy Stewart, 30 years old. Decent stats. Um, so, boys, just in case you don't know, <clears throat> Uh, the stats here go from 1 to 20. So 20 is the highest. Um, so his stick handling can't get better. He's one of the best stick handling um, left defensive men in the league, right? So, And he's got the best stamina that you could ask. But his aggression and his flair are not good at all. So that's how those stats work. But yeah, so we're going to, you know, it's going to take us time, but we're going to get to learn the league. And um, we're going to find people that we need to watch for. I'm just going to try and sim it to at least the start of the season. So, I don't know if I want to run these run these episodes super long or if I want to cut them super short and then sim off camera a little bit. Or, I don't know, you boys let me know how you want the videos. Do you want them short and sweet or... You know, you just guys want to sit here with me and and go through it all. You know, you boys let me know. Um, this first episode is just kind of trying to figure everything out. And um, eventually, we'll be getting to, you know, the playoffs. We are watching playoff games, boys. That's where this, is, this series is going to get super interesting. We are going to go um, and... If you don't know, their simulation is kind of like if you simulated on on um, EA Sports' NHL, and you were watching the um, you know the the rink in, in a 2D format. Um, we'll be able to to see highlights. We'll be able to see, and we can hop into any game. That's what I really love about this is you can hop into any game, whether you're the GM for them or not. So if your two teams randomly make it to the uh, you know, the finals, and you want to freaking sit and watch the finals, well, you can sit and watch the finals, so, that's what I like about it, it's really good, this is the only thing I don't like, is you gotta advance day by day, unless there's a way that you can advance farther than that, then I, you boys let me know, because I, I don't know it, so far, the only thing that's happened, though, in this episode, is that, you know, Sweden won the freaking Four Nations U20 tournament, uh, besides that, nothing much. I'm just trying to get us somewhere. I wish you could look at the calendars, man. Which I believe is October, right, when the NHL season starts. So we're pretty close. I believe. Also, you guys, man, let me know um, things about you know the NHL. Let me know things. I a new person coming to the to the uh, 
you know, coming to the sport should know. You know what I mean? So we have some news here. Uh, the preliminary draft rankings have been released for all of the different... Um, so the preliminary draft rankings for the national, uh, the NHL entry draft 2017 have been released. Griffin Ramsey was the top ranked players, followed by Eric John Johnstone and Lucas Dr uh, Storm. I'm just gonna say Storm. I know that's not how you pronounce it. You boys, let me know how to pronounce that name, cause I think this is a boy we're gonna need to get to know. He's 17 years old, and uh, his mental his mental game is freaking strong for being 17 and of course his physical isn't bad either the rest comes with time so keep an eye on him let's take a look though griffin ramsey who is who is griffin ramsey he's a canadian from ontario as my phone <coughs> goes off sorry sorry for about that boys um but yeah he's he's a canadian from ontario canada uh basic language french fluent language english uh, happy to stay at the team. Where, who's he playing with? Uh, Windsor. He's playing with Windsor right now. Uh, reputation's good. Uh, his availability is deemed untouched. He is uh, in 2015. He went in uh, round one in 2015 of the OMJL entry draft. So that was that's good. But he's getting ready for that next level. See, drafted pro? No, not yet. But he is going to be in the next draft. Let's check out his. His stats, his stats, um, his stats are pretty nice, actually. Pretty, he's pretty physical. <clears throat> his mentality is really good. His determination is is might be, you know, <clears throat> what holds him back. But uh, the rest of this stuff, you know, I said can come with training and stuff. But he's pretty good at face-offs and, and deflections. And uh, I want to say, yeah, he is. He plays center, so that's good. Keep an eye on him. Remember the, those names right there. Um, Ramsey is a flashy center born in Ontario. Ontario. He shoots right-handed, weighs 189 pounds. He's 6'3", so he's a big boy. Um, he's a little light, though. <clears throat> um, he was drafted to the CHL in 2015 by Windsor as a first-round pick. His CHL rights are still held by Windsor. The uh, NHL entry draft will take place at Denver Garden on Saturday, 20, June 24th of 2017. So let's go ahead, boys. Let's continue to simulate. I I am freaking excited, man. I'm excited for this. You boys, let me know what you're thinking. October, we are have come around in October now of 2016, so... We got a whole season to play before that draft even comes about, but um, my question here is when does the season start? Oh, it just started. I knew it. October 5th is when it starts, boys. You probably already knew that. I didn't know that, though. So this is what I like. When we simulate, we'll go to standings. And we'll um, we'll watch them go up, and we can even click on you know if there's a certain team. You guys, let me know your favorite teams down below, and um, I'll dedicate you know a little bit of time out of each episode to maybe go and check on them and and show you your favorite team's roster, and we'll even watch them play. So you know, let me know your favorite team as well. You know, and I'm gonna try and get to we want to get to know the whole league, so you know don't don't worry about that. Here's the second one here. San Jose um, overview. We can see the leaders and things like that. Team stats. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. Injury list. You can see who goes down with injuries and uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Trade center. No trades have been taken yet. It's a lot to it, man. There's a lot to it. We're going to continue. Simming. Pittsburgh loses to Dallas there. The spotlight's gonna be on Pittsburgh. I mean, it's, I think it's gotta be because they are the uh, they were the champions. Now, I, this is not preseason, I don't think, because last time, a whole year ago, from what I can remember when I did this the first time, um, for some reason I couldn't. There was no preseason games, so 
yeah, I don't, I don't know why, but we'll see. So we're just going to continue to sim here. And uh, you know what? We're going to wrap up <clears throat> this episode after I show you guys the live um, gameplay. So we'll hop into... We'll, wa we'll watch the... Who do we want to watch? Who do we want to watch? Let's see. Um, we got to watch the champions, right? They are. They played two games, and they've lost in overtime t two twice. That's crazy. They went into overtime twice. Um, so let's see. How do you... Uh, here we go. Uh, Pittsburgh schedule. They're going up against Montreal next. So we'll... Um, can I... Okay, here we go. Next, okay, wow, wow. You can even get the stats of the next game. Last meeting, season record, 1-1. Uh, one, one. We are 0-2. Last meeting was in 2016. Pittsburgh beat, lost to Montreal 2-3. Okay, we don't need to know all that. See, there's a lot of crap. There is. There's a lot of crap to this game. So we are going to go to schedule. We're going to advance. Please don't change the screen again. That's one thing I uh, don't like. It It automatically takes you back to the news screen. I wish it would just keep me on whatever screen I was on. That would be something cool. So, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so here we go. So we should be able to... We should be able to watch this game. Um, they do have an injury here. Mark Francos Cruz. I don't know how big of an injury that is schedule here we go so we should be able to watch man I forget how you do it that's the thing um front office history NHL overview schedule okay here we go this is how you do it oh this is perfect so here we go we're going to we're going to take a look at Pittsburgh since they're the champions um you know I'm showing them a lot of love here we go Montreal who's two and one Pittsburgh you know, they're still looking for their first win on the season. And we can even break down, you know, where they're good at and where they're not. So, from this screen here, when you go in to watch them. So, um, so here we go. Def uh, goaltending, go man. Montreal's got a what, the five-star goaltending, but so does, so does Pittsburgh. But Will Gasper Gasparini... Is their star player and Montreal's star player is Brendan Desler Desler <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> Fucking Brendan, god dang. Okay. Um let's see, how do I player stats? Oh wow, you can even see who's this is this is sick, man. So Z uh Z Kaufman coming into this game with three points, he's got three goals. So that's where his points came from. Um Gasparini uh, you got two assists, plus minus. I mean, look at all of this crap. You can see all of this crap here. Save percentage for both of the goalies. Kukolka? Kukolka. M. Kukolka coming in with a 95% save. And uh, Bose Chetty, that was the player who was the, star the starter. Bose Chetty is coming in at a 89. Now, like I said, if I fucking slaughter these names, I'm sorry. It's just how I say them, okay? That's just how it is going to be. So let's go ahead and continue. Did I just sim it or did I do I get it? Nope. I simmed it. Damn it. Okay. That's okay, boys. Uh, there's more games to watch. There's, there's more game to watch. Pittsburgh did win 3-2. to two. All right, let's go back. Let's go because we got to figure this out. This is going to be a long episode. All right, this is going to be a long episode. I do apologize. Uh, overview, here we go. No, that's not what we want. Uh, we want schedule. All right, so there's only four games being played today. Boston, Colorado. Which which one should we watch? Anaheim, Arizona, Philly, Chicago. Let's 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 take it over to Boston. Let's uh. Oh, you have to click viewing. Okay, so let's preview. Um, so here here's the preview here. I'm skating. Golden. Oh, Colorado. Michael Caruso, uh, Guther Bilboa, Bilboa, I guess, I don't know, man, I don't freaking know, okay, but we're going to continue, and is it going to let us view, 
How do you view is, is my question. That's what, which, we gotta figure that out. We gotta figure that out. Evening games, competition. Okay, here we go. So here we go, boys. So this is it. This is we're gonna watch this and then we're gonna end the episode here just so I can show you guys what to expect during playoff time or big big in season games. So here's the uh, freaking uh, rink. Anyways, we are in Denver Garden here in Denver, and so you got all these stats, play by plays, ratings, uh, way stats, everything you can you could freaking hope for. We're going to go ahead and. Uh, you can even sim it and then just watch the highlights, which is cool. But we are going to, since this is going to be a longer episode anyways, we are going to just drop the puck and see how it goes without touching anything. So here we go. Now, one thing is I don't know their names yet, but um, it's going to be cool when once we learn these players. Now, can you click? You can't do anything. So here we go. So they're doing their little dance. They're getting ready for the game. Yada, yada, yada. So let's see. Home tactics, away tactics. Oh, we can actually see their roster. So um, 36. I want to say that's, yep. That's Colorado. Or no, Boston's white. Boston's white. And Colorado is red. Resume game. Um, ratings. Play-by-play. -play, shot chart. Wow, you can even see the shot chart. This is crazy. This is crazy, boys. You can even see their whole layout here. So this is their starting, uh, their first line. They got Cruz, Reed, and Galbraith. Uh, Chris Bell, Elzer, Pickard, Blacker. So this is Colorado's. Now, I hate that it pauses it every... Uh oh. Let me turn that. Sorry about that, boys. Sorry about that. My bad. Okay, so here we go. Game view. So, yeah, so this is this. So you can see who has the puck. Oh, 65's got it. Uh, passing off the boards. 50 takes it, and that's a turnover, but he loses it. So, here we go. So, you can always see how it goes. You can commentate. It's pretty fast paced, though. Um, back and forth. It's hard, to, it's hard to, you know, stay with it. So, um, you can definitely slow it down if you wanted to. And uh, so you can do action speed slow and then clock speed fast. Let's see how that happens. I don't really know what's happening. Okay, here we go. So here it is. So you see this. <clears throat> it doesn't really affect the speed of the clock, I don't think. But that seems like just a tad too slow. Maybe. So 44 has it, passes it out to 12. 12 takes a shot on net from around the blue line. And uh, now 7's got it, passing it out to 88. 88 crosses the blue line, going around, takes a shot on net, but it's a nice block from 36. So here we go. 10's got it, passing to 13. It's a turnover there, 54. Passing it on to the boards. Or dumping it off. Is that? I'm, I'm trying to learn some of the plays as well. Uh, 48's got the puck. He passes it to 42. 42 just hanging around the back net. Passes his goalie. His goalie. Oh, my God. A horrible. Boys, did you. Wait. That's a goal, right? Or did he stop it? What just happened? That's his first goal of the season. That is a goal. Now, boys, did you not see that? The goalie went to go pass. He played the puck. He passed it out and actually passes it to number 11 here. Number 11 passes it out. And then... Um, that was just a dumb play by number 36. Uh, play by play. Uh, Canoli had the opposing keeper beat for a goal. That's his first goal of the season. So we just got to watch uh, Canoli's history right there. Getting his first goal of the season. So I'm excited, boys, man. I'm pretty damn excited, man. I don't know why. I just... I'm excited. Oh, man. That, that goal came early in the freaking... The chart. So it was 54 who put it on. Wow. Wow. They even tell you the name and when. <laughs> Dude. Holy crap. Donald Cannoli. Put, you can literally see who's taking shots on that and, and where they're going. Now, how do you look for Boston, though? Shot chart. Donald Cannoli. Oh, you can change it right here. Change the team. Maybe. 
benching, or maybe it's because they haven't taken a shot on net. I don't know. Um, resume the game. I don't need the game paused while I'm doing this. Away shot chart. There you go. They've only taken one shot on net, and it was Drayson Boca. Okay. So, ratings. Um, so, the game should be simming, which it is, and we're going to speed it up. And uh, we'll speed up the clock. Yeah, clock speeds fast. Puck trace. Zoom. Yada, yada. Okay. So, the, yeah, the game is simming, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can take a look at the, their stats and stuff, or their ratings. But, uh, yeah, Hukapuro, or however you pronounce that, that's their goalkeeper. That's the dude that made that horrible play for Colorado that, I mean, for Boston who gave Colorado that easy goal. But, oh, his first goal, who was that? Boston gets back up on the boards to even it out. Um, that was LaRock. Yeah, I think. Yep, LaRock. And uh, so, yeah. So, so this is Colorado's um, roster, and then this is Boston's roster. And you can kind of just compare them. Uh, their ratings. Their overall ratings, I think. That's what this number is here. So, 7-7. Seven, seven, you got their star player, Vanderbeek. 8. I, I believe that's what that is. Uh, LaRock is... Rating is 9. I'm assuming that's what that is. I'm not too sure, to be honest with you, boys. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Uh, we're going to go to game view here. Let's see if there's any way we can just speed this up. Uh, very fast pace. Yeah, see, look at that. You can action speed. You can just go super quick. And um, sim through the first. And we'll pause it here. And we'll go to highlights. Um, all game extended key only buffering so it's doing its thing um, we'll go to slow let's let's do that so so it's simming through the game and then it's going to show us the highlights so here we go seven dumping it off onto the boards here tens recovering it nope uh, I don't know who has the puck I actually don't know who. Oh, the puck's over here. Okay. So they're. Oh, it was icing. It was icing. So here we go. So Boston's up 3 to 2 with 1 minute and 51 seconds. So here we go. Vanderbeek and Charles prepare for the faceoff. Vanderbeek wins. I think. That was Vanderbeek. So 54 gets it. Here we go. Colorado just going to try and play it off 26. There he goes. 54. Has it, but then turns it over here. So they're just going to try and wiggle it behind the back of the net. 46. Loses the puck, though. 54 takes a shot on the net, but it's a nice save there by number 36. And, um, or I think it was a save. Uh, yeah, it was a save. Definitely. So let's see. Number 9, that's somebody else. Who is doing the face off? It's Reed Lines up against Charles. Charles won the last one, I do believe. No, no, he didn't. He lost. And he loses this one as well. Um... <clears throat> So they have possession. Boston has possession of the puck. And just playing it off, they lose it. Crosses the blue line and... No, he has to dump it in. Dumps it in. <clears throat> out to the number four, the defensive man. And loses the puck, though. And 46 is just going to dump that off. Trying to just waste this time here. As Boston, all they need to do is play some nice defense. Off to the boards here. 30 seconds remaining. Playing it off behind the net. 41 going up. Left side, passing it across the ice, 50-14. Got something moving here, and then they lose possession of the puck. Dumps it off past the blue line. He gets it and goes in, and a nice save right there. He holds on to it, and there will be another faceoff with only five seconds left. But what a save that was. So let's um, we'll take a look at the sh shot charts after this here. Who they... Colorado's got to win this face off here. And they do. And he takes one shot on the net. And there is another save. What a. It's, they celebrate with their goalie. Boston comes away with the win. Uh, the Boston goalie makes up for that dumb mistake he made early in the game. And we'll see. So um, Boston's Danny. Okay, so this is Boston shooting. So let's look at... Uh, how do you change teams again? I forget. I forget how you... Okay, view. 
Oh, here we go. So wait, this I'm confused. Sheldon, Colorado, all players. Here you go, here you go. So here is the Boston's goalkeeper. He let Donald Co uh, Conley put one in, and then he let Sheldon uh, Gay Breath put one in. Galbreath. And uh, he had a lot of good good saves. Um, so here you go. You can see the stats of the goals. Uh, 3-2, to shots on, shots on goal. 30, Colorado outshot Boston. Um, giveaways, Boston played sloppy there as well. So, I don't... Hits, Colorado out hit them. Faceoffs won, though. That's where Boston dominated. Uh, and not, it wasn't even close. I mean, they just straight up dominated. Um, but Colorado, I mean, they they were way more aggressive. You would think that maybe they they just couldn't get it in the back of the net. They couldn't, you know, get any of those shots to go in. And so here it is, full time. Now you can go back and you can watch the highlights. But this episode has been going on for way too long, boys. Way too long. So we're just going to take a look. You can see it here. It was zero to one, Colorado. Then it was tied up. Boston. Then Boston took the lead. Then Colorado tied it back up, two to two. And then Boston scored the the you know the last score there. <clears throat> the Rock almost got the hat trick to tonight. Uh, he put two in there, and very close in time as well. And uh, you can see who got the assist. So The Rock, man, good game by him. No doubt about it. Um, See the away stats. This is Boston, right? Boston was away. I believe. I want to see the goalies' uh, save percentage for th for tonight. Can you see his save percentage? Condition. See, I, I just got to learn all of this, boys. I'm sorry, man. I, I got to learn all of this. So, regular season. I don't know. I don't know how you how you look at his stats for, for today's game, but they shot what thirty like thirty four and he gave up two, so you know not not a bad game. But that's gonna be it, guys. Let me uh, let me get up out of this game and let's go ahead and just continue assimilate the rest of the week. That is a lot of play. That's how our our playoff games and playoff series are going to look. The rest is gonna be simulated, and we're gonna you know check out the league and stuff like that if you guys are excited for this if you guys want the series to go a certain way let me know in the comments because i can adjust it for the way you guys want to watch it um i think i'm gonna have fun either way it doesn't matter to me you guys let me know though, boys and uh, give me tips on the actual sport things i need to know things a new person who's who's coming into this sport should know and um just make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and check out a bunch of other content that I have and as always have a wonderful day peace